Welcome back to today's video. We're going to go ahead and finish getting the face frames installed, build some uh, drawers, put some bottoms on them, get them installed, and um, that's about where we're at with the kitchen cabinets. Obviously we still have countertops, nice concrete countertops to pour, but that'll be for the next video. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're getting ready to install this one. We'll go around. You can see I put the clamps here for this one. Got the corner where it goes. Um, there's where the dishwasher goes. Get on down the line. And there's the peninsula. So here we go. This is where the uh, oven, wall oven sits. Uh, so I'm putting little pocket hole screws here to hold the face frames on. Let's clip this guy on here. So I'm making this opening right here, about 30 and 1 16th. And that will work out for the range that goes in there. double behind here, single out here, and then you got those little plugs that you put in there and pull them up. And you can see the plugs, but okay. make that so it's flush. I just wanted to take a quick look here at the uh, boxes I made to put the drawers in. One thing I'd point out a little later is I put the uh, spreader bar on the top. If I had put the spreader bar on the bottom, everything would have been perfect. So that's the one big do over on the doors. We're going to attempt in this video to show you how I actually build the drawers since I left that part out. The bummer is when I did them, I, I like had this down pat. So now I'm kind of having to remember. So here's my jig. It's the, um, I think it's Jet. Uh, yeah, Jet. And basically with the jig here, you have one setting and that's the slide bar. This bar slides forward and back and you have to get it set so that you're Go in the right depth on your board, so that takes a little bit of play. The other setting you have is on your router, you have the depth of the dovetail jig. And there's also a little collet. You can see right here, there's a little bump. Now this bump here in the collet fits into the grooves right here and goes around and makes the um, makes the dovetail. So let's go ahead and set one up and see if we can get her done. Front and the back go on the tops and I mark mine A and 
I don't know what that is, D maybe. So if it comes in like this, kind of lay it in there, and then the corresponding mark goes up from the bottom. Bring it up till it just gets to the bottom of this. There's a little stop right here, and there's a stop right here. Line these guys up so that they are perfectly square. Now you can get a look at how it looks here. Carved out, I slid in. The stop is what creates this little edge right here. And you just have to get that adjusted. Different thicknesses of wood like it differently. Right now my router stuff set up for a little thinner stock than what I have, but um, it still works out. I'll show you in the end. Now, what you do is you, this guy comes out and slides right around into here. Just like this. Okay. And Oh, I forget which one that is, but it sort of doesn't matter. This guy. It's kind of hard to do and hold the camera. This guy. Like that. Set this up so it hits the stop. So everything's flush. Set this guy in here so it's perfect. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side. This guy comes out. Whips around like this. Comes over to here. And then the next side. This is my back piece. So the back piece will come in here. Line these guys up.
So this is the side that was always on the upper part here. So the upper part is the fronts and the backs. The reason that's important is they've been cut to the exact perfect width. Now the sides, because I'm not dealing with the exact perfect size bit and for this thickness of wood, you can see they don't go all the way through. So you have to deduct that much front to back in order to get them to work. Um, but anyway, that's how I dovetail a drawer together. I recommend getting one that doesn't have the little grooves in it like we did. But at the end of the day, I don't think it matters much. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes they just snap together. This flooring doesn't, doesn't snap together like some of the other stuff I've used. So I have the flooring on the back. I have the framing square right here. And so now I just staple it on. If I had to do this over again, instead of putting this guy on the top like this, I'd actually put it on the bottom and let it hang under. And then I wouldn't have to do the step I'm doing right now, which is to set this board underneath. Whoa. Okay. You got a Phillips bit in this gun and a Vix bit right here. Vix bit sets in your hole and then drills a pilot hole so stuff does not slide around. So I set my two drawer slides right there. Make the front edge flush with the face frame. Got to make sure I keep track of what's the front and what's the back. And now this guy will go right on here. Flush it up. Now for the moment of truth. You'll notice that the drawer slides hang down just a little bit past the bottom because of the shim. Tight. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Next video we'll be putting in concrete countertops. Look forward to doing that and seeing you then. This is Stinging Nettle Farms signing out.